Yeah, absolutely. And of course, wind plays a huge factor in that. And we'll keep an eye on those breezes. They may increase to say 20, 25 miles an hour later on this afternoon, potentially some gusts of around 30. And of course, there's a small chance of an isolated thunderstorm that could produce some erratic. Uh, so all things to track as we head throughout the rest of the afternoon. I did want to show you some temperature stats from Phoenix. Now I intentionally left this blank because we have not hit our high temperature yet today. We are forecasting 111. The record is 115, so we likely won't quite get to that record. But another thing I wanted to discuss with you is the low temperature that we've had so far today. So far today, it only dropped to 87 degrees. That was this morning. And if that holds, which I think it will, that would break the old warmest low high temperature record, which was 85. So that's a pretty uh, warm statistics to get. It's not just the afternoon high temperatures that give us the heat. It's also these very warm overnight and early morning periods. Hence the reason for that excessive heat warning continuing for the next several hours. As we take a look at our Sky Harbor stats, 104 currently with a little bit of cloud cover in parts of the valley. We have some moisture seeping in from the south, which I'll show you in just a second. Other spots checking in pretty warm in Flagstaff. You set a high temperature record yesterday. Right now you are 84. We'll keep an eye on those breezes with the nearby fires. A 95 right now in Sedona, quite warm. 95 in Pace and Show Low, you're at 90 degrees. I mentioned that moisture trying to seep in here to Arizona. You can see just enough of it to produce a few clouds and a few showers out across eastern Arizona. And because of that, this is the storm prediction forecast. There is slight chance of those showers continuing along the uh, eastern border today. You can see the severe weather, though, well to our east in portions of Kansas and Nebraska. And we're not looking at any severe weather, of course, for the next couple days, but the chance of a few isolated showers and storms and hopefully not with a dry lightning strike, which would not be good for potentially triggering any triggering any future fires. So here's our future cast. We're going to 7 p.m. As we lose the heating of the day, we'll start to lose some of these showers. And then tomorrow, a slightly lower chance, but still the chance of an isolated shower thunderstorm out here in eastern Arizona into Saturday afternoon. High temperatures today going for 111 in Phoenix, 112 for Gila Bend, 99 Sedona, 85 for Flagstaff, and uh, 89 for the Grand Canyon. So another warm day ahead. Now, in that seven day outlook, you'll notice today will be the conclusion of our first alert weather days, at least for the time being. Tomorrow is still hot at 110, and then we dip down to around 105 on Monday.